Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a 3D multiplayer game in Godot 4. For the sake of this video, I'm using my third person character for my third person controller video, and just a simple level with some objects. To get started, let's create a new canvas layer node. In there, we'll create two new buttons. One will be our host button, and also a button for joining. Let's go ahead and create a new script on our main scene. Here, we can get rid of these two functions. We'll connect our host button on pressed to that script and the same with the joined button. Now we need to create a peer variable. So variable peer, we set to enet multiplayer peer dot new. And we will create an export variable, which means we can edit it from the inspector. This will be our player scene, which will be our 3D controller. And we'll just set this to a packed scene. Now let's create a new node. This will be our multiplayer spawner. And we need to select which node we are going to spawn in our player on. So we'll just select the main for now. And now in our host button press function, we need to create the server. So here dot create server. And here we can select our port, which I'll just set to 1027. However, this could be whatever you want. And we need to set our multiplayer peer. So multiplayer dot multiplayer peer will be set to our peer variable. Now, when our peer has successfully connected, we need to spawn in the player. So multiplayer dot peer connected, and we'll connect this to a function called add player. And now we need to go ahead and call that function locally. So add player, let's go and create that function. We will default the ID to one. And now we need to instantiate our player. So variable player, we'll get our player scene node that we created before dot instantiate. And we will set the player dot name to a string version of the ID. So str ID, and then call deferred add child player, which will update the network. And now to join the server, we'll go ahead and type peer dot create client, then we need to enter in an IP address. The local IP address for every computer is 127.0.0.1. And we also need to type in our port that we said before, which is 1027. We can go ahead and copy over this second line here. And now to quickly handle exiting the game, we'll create a new function called delete player. And this will take in the player's ID and we'll create a new RPC function, which we'll call delete player and it will send over that ID. Now let's go create that actual RPC function. So at RPC, any peer, call local and that will be our function delete player. And this will take in that ID. And now with that ID, we can go ahead and get node str id dot q free, which would delete that node. And we'll go ahead and create a function now called exit game. We'll take in that id. Then we will connect on peer exited by multiplayer dot peer disconnected. And we'll connect this to delete player. So it deletes it on all clients. And then we will call delete player locally as well. And one more thing I forgot to do, we need to hide our join and host buttons. So we will simply reference our canvas layer node and we'll type dot hide. And we'll set this in joined as well. And I'll head over to your actual main node in your inspector. Go ahead and drag over our player.tscn into our player scene. And in multiplayer spawner, we will add to the spawn list that same node. Now let's head over to our player scene. Let's create a multiplayer synchronizer node. And I want to synchronize the player position and also the player rotation. Now, hover to the player script and yours may look a little bit different. However, this should still work. So we'll create a new function called enter tree. And we will set the multiplayer authority to name dot two Int. Now we need to go ahead and reference our camera. I'll just call this cam. And now in our function, 
ready, we will type cam dot current. What's that? That to is multiplayer authority. So if we are not the owner of the player on this client, it will disable our camera. Or if we are, it will enable it. Right here, I have a simple check to see if the player presses escape. If so, we're going to quit the game. But before we do this, we need to call our exit game function in our parent node that we created before. So we'll reference the parent dot exit game and we'll pass in our name dot two int. This will call this function right here. And to prevent any weird issues, we can go ahead and just disable our physics process if we are not the multiplayer authority. And now to test this out, we'll over to debug, run multiple instances. You could select two or more instances and press play. In the first one, we'll press host. And in the second one, we'll go ahead and press join. And as you can see, we have our working multiplayer. And if we press escape on our client, it will leave on both sides. Anyways, guys, if you found the story helpful, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.